tomorrow's fight night. Uh, how are you feeling? Feeling really good, feeling relaxed. You're and, the lightest uh, you've ever been as well? Lightest I've ever yeah. been, feeling fit, strong, good, feeling ready. He seemed to start trash talking, like he actually, you know, he started to respond this time. Mm -hmm. uh, and it seemed to fire you up. Can you just yeah. describe what was happening there? No, I wasn't fired up. I got on his head. It's an all psychology, psychological. So describe a little more what you're trying to do. So you're trying to make him upset. You're trying to I'm trying to make him upset so he can come out and do his normal game plan. Because if he if he has been trying to learn how to box, I'd rather he didn't. I'd rather he came out and kept swinging. Aggressive. Yeah, aggressive. Yeah, it's without just thinking. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know what I mean? So you get in the head and start trying to suck him out little bit by little bit. So intentionally refusing to do the face off, all part of the game. So all part of the game, man. And you know, I was more relaxed today because I was just I don't think I needed to do the normal Yeah, I thought you were going to come with a group of people. Stuff. I thought you were going to bring a baron. Nah, I think yeah. it's just something different. I yeah. said, you know, if, if they want to do it, if, if he wants to do something, it's up to him. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm just going to come out and be my usual funny self. And uh, and I think it worked all right. Yeah. yeah. You know, come off like, oh, he hasn't, you know. And I spoke, um, I really want to showcase my boxing, this one, because it'll be a, a vast difference to the butter bean that fought him a year ago to compared to now. Because, you know, last time he threw those those haymakers, right? Yeah, he, uh, threw, a lot, he threw a lot of wild shots that, that looked really cool. Yeah. Uh, so I've been sparring a lot of guys, that's, that's all they, and that's all they've been throwing. So it's quite easy to combat. And I'm a lot, you know, I'm 20, 20 odd kilos lighter than the last time I fought him. So I can, I'm a lot more mobile, I'm a lot better boxer, a lot stronger, and uh, he's, he's just... He's going to be clutching at straws. Do you think he might have more in his arsenal? Just because he said, I think he said he got some repair done on nah. his arm, or his arm wasn't wrecked. His arm wasn't wrecked that Cause, fight because he had a bad stitch across. Yeah, his, that was yeah. after. Like it wasn't wrecked on that fight. He wrecked it playing rugby. Okay, it's full of shit. So he's just making excuses for the making rematch. Excuses, is he? you know, the butter bean and the butter bean motivation team. We don't make excuses. You know, we give the, we give people reasons to make excuses. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> That's beautiful, right? Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, we're just doing our thing. It's gonna be on tomorrow. Last message for your fans out there to all the motor, uh, last, butter bean. Last motivate. message to all my butter beaners and all the people in my butter bean motivation group. Keep going hard. If I can do it, so can you. You know, I've proven that. I'm 90 kilos down, uh, living life to the fullest, and I'm not making any excuses. There's no excuses. Get off the couch and start working out and eat right. Thanks, Dave. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks, bro. Thanks, awesome, bro. brother. Yeah.